Hey friends, I'm Cole and this is a space I created for the resilient. On this channel, I create content that activates resilience, inspires creative wellness, and interconnectedness of all human beings and living things. So, on today's episode or whatever the fuck my channel is, we're going to be talking about the vibration of food and how it affects your body and your mood and how your gut is your second brain and the things that you're ingesting into your body play a huge part in how you're experiencing your life. And today, y'all, I have a special guest with me, Sid! Yay! You guys have seen her on my channel before because we did another video. I will link it somewhere above our head. We did a no social media challenge, also to raise our vibration, yeah. so we're still on the same wave. Right, I need to do that again. <laughs> what is your channel about? My channel is about, it's like a little bit of everything. It's a little lifestyle, but mainly like just going through this journey of life with me. Growing with me is what I say, because I'm trying to grow into the best version of myself. So we do self-help, empowerment, talk about self-love, care, all that good stuff. So Yay. if you love Cole, you'll love me. No, I'm just kidding. No, you really will. So go to her page, subscribe. I'm going to link her down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, girl, what is you yeah. waiting on? I don't know what you're waiting on. Well... Waiting on you to make that more videos, but other than that. <laughs> I'm pumping out the content. We're here now. Stop bringing up old shit. I know, right? <laughs> but today, seriously, on a serious note, so Sid posted a video, I think it was maybe like a week ago, maybe yeah. even less than a week, where she was opening up about, you know, her own struggles with depression. And I have my own struggles with depression and, and maintaining a positive mood just when you're moving through the swing of life and everything is coming at you so fast. And then with all the angst of the new year right now and trying to like be right on your goals and be yeah. disciplined and be creative and be motivated and be a adult is like right. hard within itself and i think that sometimes it can become challenging to try and find ways to to maintain creativity in your life so that way you're constantly expanding yourself and growing but that you're filling yourself up with the proper things mm -hmm. so i like to tell everyone that everything is vibration so before we stepped into the kitchen I told Sid that before I come in the kitchen and ingest food in my body, I like to set the tone because not only does the vibration of your food matter, but the vibration that you're putting into your food matters. So from the moment that you grab it and you're picking it out in the store to the moment you're preparing it to how you're preparing it all determines the vibration of your food and when you're ingesting it in your body. So since we got that out the way, um, I want to talk about some of the foods that are most high vibrational. The most high vibrational foods are going to be raw fruits and vegetables. The ones that are non-modified, okay? So, yes, fruits and vegetables are good, the hybrids and things like that. But anything that solely came from the earth that was created from the earth is going to be the best things for you that's going to regulate your body and help regulate your mood. Because in a sense, your gut is your second brain. And if your gut flora is not healthy, that's why we could be having mood swings, we have cravings, um, and all these things which are unhealthy for us and lead into a further depression. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of just wanted you to kind of share and open up about how your moods tend to affect how you eat. Mm -hmm. um, well, like most people, when I am feeling down and sad and just pretty low vibrational, um, I usually crave low vibrational foods and so that's gonna look like ice cream um, literally anything hot Cheetos <laughs> like I mean, we're like, being honest you know yeah. nobody's perfect and I want to make that like a worst. point like no one's perfect and see I have the opposite problem when I'm being moody and I'm down and I'm depressed and I'm stressed I don't eat mm -hmm. at all so I'm not filling my body up with any nutrients mm -hmm. and a big thing is I don't even like drink stuff when I'm feeling like depressed so, like, keeping mm. my body hydrated is something that I don't So, are you just do. literally, like, nothing? Yeah. Mm. But I think we tend to forget that we need that hydration to continuously flush out those toxins. Right. Even the toxins that we're feeling, those vibrations are subconsciously held within our bodies. Um, mm. So, those, those mood swings we're having are subconsciously just being held in our gut and then, like, being um, outwardly expressed into our everyday experience. Mm -hmm. um, so you said that like when you get moody and stuff you tend to eat like ice creams and stuff like that yeah and it never yeah. really like it never like satisfies you you know it might be like momentarily a little bit of satisfaction but it obviously doesn't take away whatever sadness you're going through or you know if you're going through depression or anything like that so yeah yeah i like to tell people like being healthy becomes easy when we can make it creative right mm -hmm. because i know when you're sad and you're moody it it's 
not always fun to get up and cook yourself a full ass meal right because you don't want to do anything so yeah. it's like why do i want to move to do that but what i like to tell people is when you start shifting the energy in your body you start shifting the way the frequencies are moving in your life mm -hmm. so just that mere action of you getting up out of that negative vibration that yeah. you're like laying down in that's is already ready. getting that that energy in motion and mm -hmm. then you come in the kitchen and that's why i said like we set the tone you know so um, the first thing I did was wash my hands because we want to make sure we wash our hands. There's tons of germs everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and then not just that, but I went ahead and cleansed myself with some Florida water because it's really cleansing. I set an intention silently in my head. And then I cleared out the negative energy with sage and I lit a white candle to bring in positive energy as we're getting ready to prepare the food to nourish our bodies. Mm -hmm. um, so today we're going to be making some chia seed pudding and we're going to be making some veggie omelets. So let's get started. Yay! All right. So it's very important that you're washing off your fruits and vegetables because you never, you just never know where they came from, where they're processed, what hands they went through, which vibrations they went through, how a person was feeling when they were handling your food. So you want to make sure you're putting intentions into it. And not only that, but you're programming your food so that way when it goes into your body, it has a positive vibration mm -hmm. and it's raising your vibration rather than lowering it. If you're thinking, like if you're in the kitchen and you're already having negative thoughts surrounding food, you're inputting that vibration into your food. And that's why when we talk about eating things like meats and that are not necessarily bad for you, but you have to remember the vibration in which they were in when they were slaughtered for one and the vibration that they're in when you, you receive them. A dead animal is a low vibrational food because it's not living. So all of your living things are gonna be high vibrational. All things that are not living are gonna be very low vibrational. So I bought some ashwagandha and some St. John's Wort. Both of these are going to be really good for being a mood booster and mood enhancer. Mm -hmm. um, the ashwagandha is going to be an adaptogen. Anything that's an adaptogen is going to help with your mood. So you want to make sure that not only are you eating the right foods, but you're filling yourself up with um, essential nutrients that you can get from everyday plants and things like that. So yes, supplements are a little bit more expensive, but when it comes to your health, it's really like worth the investment in yourself. Definitely. Because these are gonna be like high vibrational plants. These are all living things and you're a living being. So you wanna put living things inside of you to keep your vibration high and right. you know, keep moving and grooving. So along with the chia seeds, we're gonna have some other great superfoods in there and some fresh fruits. We're gonna have blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, some goji berries for some good brain function, and some hemp heart so that way we can get a little bit of good protein and stuff in there too, okay? Sounds good. Yeah. So we're gonna let that sit and we're gonna get started on these omelets because those are gonna be really good too. Okay. <laughs> first things first, y'all. We gotta wash the veggies off. First things first, I... First things first, I see Mess around oh. with no man who won't. Comment down below. Comment down below if I'm the only ghetto. <laughs> But that's another thing you guys you need to make sure you're having fun when you're creating and also like cooking is a way to create in literally being healthy if you spell it out it says heal thy so make sure you're healing thy cells healing yourself you know on a cellular structure that's where everything starts on a vibrational level so if you can't nip it in the bud out here in this external world let's nip it in the bud vibrationally i love cilantro y'all it's like one of my favorite herbs to cook with and also, we will be using something from the garden. We're gonna use a little bit of this basil right Ooh, here. Oh, how exciting. It's so rewarding when you are cooking with things that you grew yourself and you know what's going into your body. Cute. Go, 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 Go. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go, Go. Go, Go. Make it if we try, just the two of us. Hey, vocals. 
So I like to get the veggies washed on just like a kind of like cool but medium temperature. And when you're washing it, if you don't have an actual vegetable wash, that's completely fine. Water is okay. So a little background on me is I was in the military. I was in the Navy for five years. And in the Navy, I was a lab tech. I specialized in um, clinical laboratory science. So I highly encourage everyone to have blood work done um, just so you can get your levels to get a chem panel done and a complete blood count just so you can know what your levels are for the minerals in your body and the vitamins in your body so you know how to learn how to start regulating them based on where you currently are in your um, wellness journey. So I'm gonna have Sid take over for me over here and I'm kinda just gonna walk her through making this vegan omelet. So it's not, we're not using eggs, we're actually gonna use a unbleached all-purpose white flour and we're gonna use a garbanzo bean flour. The garbanzo bean flour is what's gonna give it that kind of yellow tint along with the nutritional yeast. Oh, garbanzo bean flour is gonna give it that little bit of protein as well, okay? So like I said again, you guys, I cook through love and I highly encourage everyone to cook through love. Love. So if you're not well versed in cooking or you feel like you can't cook or anything like that Start filling it out and go by your own taste buds and don't go by what anybody else has to say um, Because what's best for you is going to be what's most truthful for you So some people may not like chickpea flour and that's okay Like personally, I don't typically care for too much tofu. So I know a lot of people do tofu scrambles I'll do a tofu scramble once in a blue moon. I would prefer to eat this way Okay, so do what works for you at the end of the day. Let's get into it. So, chickpea flour, what we're going to do is we're going to do half and half. So we're going to do half chickpea flour, half all-purpose white flour. For how many ever servings you want to make, girl. Live it up. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to season our chickpea flour because food is only good with seasoning and we wanna make sure we're using seasonings that are good natural herbs from the earth. So you can literally mm -hmm. heal yourself through the food that you're cooking, through the herbs that you choose to use and all the different vitamins and nutrients and different healing properties that these things have. Sorry y'all, we are gonna put some bacon powder in here too. Not a lot, just a little sprinkle, okay y'all? So we don't want it to rise too much because we're eating this as an omelet, not as a pancake, okay? Right, okay. And it is flour. So we're going to put some milk in here and we're going to stir it, but we want the consistency to be like really thin so it can kind of make like a thin mm -hmm. type of pancake type of situation, okay? Mm -hmm. So even if you wanted it to be a little bit more yellow, like if you wanted that look of it, you could even throw a little bit of turmeric in there. Mm -hmm. Even just a little bit is going to give it that deep, rich yellow color. And then you're going to get the benefits of the turmeric because there's already black pepper in there. Mm. So black pepper activates turmeric, if you guys didn't know that. Um, it activates the turmeric so that way your body can absorb it. So when we're making this, if we want to put a little bit more yellow color, I'm going to throw a little bit of this um, turmeric in there. Which a lot of people use when they're making like tofu scramble. You can really get that effect. Yeah, so you can really get that like yellow color. Okay. okay, friends, let's get on into it. So now we're going to go ahead and start assembling our omelets. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of grapeseed oil. I like to cook a grapeseed oil because it has a really high cooking temperature and it's really good for you. So sometimes when people think it's good to cook with olive oil and things like that, at a high burning rate, they have carcinogenic um properties that come out that can be very harmful to your body Ooh. so i would say just be mindful of the oil that you're using because i do typically still use um olive oil for like salads and stuff like that i just mm -hmm. don't cook with it on the stove mm. okay start getting heating up um, when I'm cooking, typically, I like to have music on. I like to set the tone, set the vibration in here. I like to get my jams going, get my groove on, move my shoulders, shimmy my shoulders a little bit, get that energy moving around, and also just being really positive while I'm cooking. I like to say positive things or listen to positive things, whether it be a podcast or mm -hmm. an audio book or music or whatever. But you just want to make sure you're in a positive attitude and constantly telling yourself, like, I love you. This food is going to nourish me. Thanking your food for the nourishment that it's going to give you um 
while you're cooking it. It's just, it's a good habit to get in in general because you speak things into existence. You wanna speak great things over your life, into your life, into you, into your food, all of that. Mm -hmm. Remember you guys, I told you we're not gonna cook this on a super high heat because we 100% don't wanna cook the nutrients out of it. So we kinda just wanna give it like a good little, like it's on medium right now. We wanna just let it cook just for a little bit. Um, but this is why the greens are not in there. So we're actually not even going to be cooking the greens. We want to keep all the nutrients in our green food. So we have our basil, our cilantro, and our kale. We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to put that on this heat when this is done for a quick second. Mm. Just to heat it up so it's warm when we put it in the omelet. And that's going to be that on that. Alright, perfect timing. So that timer went off. We're going to go ahead and flip these. So we got that nice little caramelized. So as you guys seen, this is our chia seed pudding. It, it's 20 minutes later. <laughs> um, we're just going to go ahead and toss some fresh blackberries in there. Mm. We're going to toss some fresh blueberries in there. Some raspberries. And then also for some extra, extra nutrients, we're going to throw in some little hemp seeds. We're just going to sprinkle it on the top of here. And then I'm going to top it with a couple goji berries. Now, y'all, goji berries are an acquired taste. I'm mm. not going to lie to you. However, if you can drink alcohol, if you can suck dinglings, oh. if you could lick vaginas, you can eat some goji berries, okay? It is all right. Different. They're not that bad. They're, really, they're just an acquired taste. But they're a superfood. They're really good for your brain. They're good for a lot of things. So we're going to eat goji berries today. Great you did job. a great job. Thank you. It's good. I learned something Nutrition. new today. It's high vibrational. Vegan. It's vegan. Cruelty free. Free. <laughs> mm. So, what would you say your biggest takeaway was from today? I can do it. It really wasn't that difficult. Like, it seemed like a lot, but when you're having fun, like you said, putting on some music keeping the vibes high, you can do it. And you can do it when you don't feel like doing it. Yeah. Especially. Honestly, I feel like it's something fun for me to do when I don't feel like doing anything. Yeah, I could see that. Because when I'm in those negative spaces, I'm like, you know what? Let me just cook me a good ass home cooked bomb nutritious meal mm -hmm. to make me feel good. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go and I'll set the whole mood for myself mm. and do that. Candles and it just gets your music. body moving and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. No, I love it. And plus, it feels good to know exactly what's in your food, to know that you made it. Because from yeah. the moment the food is, like, being processed, you're already putting vibration in it. So, you never know what's going on in the kitchen in the back when they're cooking your food. But you know That's everything true. when you're doing it. Right. But, I yeah, guys. It. So, we had fun today. I hope you guys learned a lot. Again, I'm going to link Sid's page. Please check out her video. She has lots of great, great content Thank you. here on um, the journey to healing and to growing and to just trying to be more self-aware um, without all the woo-woo verbiage. Definitely feel like her page is the one that you need to be on because she breaks it down in a simple way, something that's digestible that everyone can kind of relate to. Thank um, you, and love. it's based on exactly what she's going through in the current moment. So she's not giving you regurgitated information out of a book. She's giving you real life experience from what she's currently going through. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow me. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and give me a comment. Let me know what you liked about it, what, imp what you're going to change or implement into your own life. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys are treating yourselves well. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.
it's yeah. an integral part that people okay. need to learn to exit fucking energy, open the window. Right, what's the... All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Are you getting that? I'm going to put this in the blooper. Oh, I hold this? Ooh, okay. <laughs> I like this. Oh, gee, I need to get me one of these contraptions. Hey friends, I'm Cole, and this is a space I created for the resilient. On this channel, I create content that activates resilience, inspires creative wellness, and... You're killing it. I know, I 